Hey guys, Nick iPhone Help here, and today I got a review of the keyboard buddy case from Boxwave. Okay guys, so I've had this keyboard for a long time, and I promised you guys that I would be doing a review of the keyboard. I originally got it back in like November time for about 80 bucks off of Amazon. I got the backlit edition, so basically the keys light up behind it. That's basically all that's different from the other ones. Um, but I was going to do the review, but then I got busy, and then, I don't know. So I've had m much more time to experience the case itself and the keyboard functionality. So I think this review will be a lot better than the one that I would have done back in November. So basically, this is the box that you get with the, with the keyboard. You get box wave, the backlit edition, easy start guide, and talks a little bit about it. It works for the 4 and the 4S, and there's the back of the box, and there's the design. So it in includes a micro USB to USB to charge the um, case, and you can use the USB to plug it into the wall, your computer, anything that uses USB. And then it's um, on and off switch, which is located right here, and then you have the pairing thing, and then there's your charging port right there, and that's basically it for the case. You also have, uh, it works with Bluetooth 2.0 and firm fitting shell design and cutout design and a charge duration up to two, up, two weeks. So your charge is good for two weeks, so that's really good. And this also is available in black. And about the charge, I will say that the battery does last a very long time because I actually haven't used this case for about two months now and the battery's still good. So, and we're on that part of the battery. So it's about to go dead, so this, when it's full, it will be blue over here, and then it'll go down, and then when it's on the lower end, it'll be white. So, that's how you know. But, basically, I've already paired the device, but to, in order to pair the device, what you're going to do is you're going to go into your settings, then you're going to go down to general, and then to, um, whoops, uh, Bluetooth, well, blank, sorry, fail. <laughs> Turn your Bluetooth on, and then the, you have to click on the little pairing button right here, and then we'll start to, and then you'll have a blink over here, and then you just, and then it'll pop up over here. You click on it, and it'll tell you to type in four numbers. You click the numbers on the keyboard, and then you press enter, and then it'll be paired. So right now my device is paired, so I'm going to put it in the case. So now it's in the case, and now all the keys are functional. So see, there's a home button right here. I can click on the home button, and it'll take me to my home screen. So when I had my phone jailbroken. I did have the SB rotator, and it would, and you can rotate your thing. So no matter where you are, you can have your phone like this, and it'll type. So let's go into Notes really quick. Open up a new note, and if you turn the screen, it'll turn like that, and then all you can do is type, and everything will be great. And um, you can bring up your keyboard with the little key right here. You can bring up your on-screen keyboard and hide it. So I thought that was pretty cool. So um, if you want to get it to your emoji, you can just click there and then bring it down, and that'll be it. So that's basically what I used to do. You can also lock your device, and then if you press the lock key, it will open up your screen. It won't bring you back to your lock screen, so that's kind of a downside. So say you have a lock code on it, it will go past your lock code. I don't have one on, but yep. So that's the keyboard, and again, you can press the home button from here, and you'll bring your home screen. Um, after a while, I don't know what I did to my keyboard, but I don't know if you can hear this. It starts to rattle, so I don't know what it is, but overall it works fine, and it still rattles. But I, basically I bought this for 80 bucks off of Amazon, I'll try and put the link down in the description if I can remember. And overall I think this is a great keyboard, it's thin, it's a very thin case, it does add a little bit of weight to your phone, I will add, so, say that. Um, but the keyboard works fine. I like the the click the snap um, the snap that you get from unlocking the phone, but overall I think the keyboard's great and yeah, it's worth the pickup in my mind. If you're if you're one of those people that had a um, a physical keyboard before and you're not used to the touch screen of the iPhone, which is basically what it's made for, but if you need some help or maybe if you just want to change something up, because this does turn heads, because I know when I got first got this phone back in case back in November, my friends were like, whoa, is that like the new iPhone 5 or something like that with the keyboard? Or did you mod it somehow? And I was like, no, nah, I just bought the case. But it's kind of fun to mess with people's heads and say, yeah, this is the new iPhone, it has the keyboard and stuff, because it looks like it matches. This was used to be pearl white, but now it's kind of 
dirty. That's one downside from the white case. It does get a little bit dirty. But it looks pearl white, so it's like the same thing as the keyboard. So it's like, did that? Is did Apple really make that? But obviously it has a back uh, box wave logo on it. So with a closer look, at, you can tell it's not part of the phone, but it's pretty cool to say I have a keyboard with my iPhone. So something unique, something different, and overall I think the case is really great. So this has been a review of the KeyBuddy box wave case for the iPhone 4 and 4S, and this has been Nick, Lothar, Nick iPhone Help. Thanks guys for watching. Peace.